Well, good evening to you, Ellison, and we have two storms coming into California. Both will be considered atmospheric rivers. This first one, though, this is a good old fashioned Pineapple Express atmospheric river, and all that really fancy term means is that this storm that's powerful that's off the coast, if we track the moisture from it, where it's drawing the moisture from all the way down into the tropics, it starts in Hawaii. So that's why we call these a Pineapple Express. It's just a type of atmospheric river. And by the way, even the east coast of the U.S. can have atmospheric river events. It's not just exclusive to the West Coast. It really just means when a storm is powerful enough that it pulls that humid air out of the tropics to northern latitudes. So here's our forecast for the atmospheric river. We actually have an intensity scale for these. It goes one to five. Five, this red, that would be exceptional. That would be the strongest. That would be, you know, significant impacts. This one's kind of in the middle of the road. Coastline of Oregon may get some power outages, some damaging winds, and also waves. Northern Oregon coastline all the way through Washington State, same. California, this one looks kind of like your typical areas of rain. It's moving through pretty quickly and just a little bit windy. So here's the timing of it. This is 5 p.m. on Wednesday, starting to pour all of northern California coastal areas, beginning to move into the central coast. San Francisco, right around the evening rush hour, the highest winds and heaviest rain for you. And by the time we get to Thursday, it all moves inland. So it's actually progressing pretty quickly. Showers behind it, but not the heavy torrential rains and also the damaging wind gusts. By the time we get to Friday, the storm system's all the way moving into the four corner region. So obviously we're going to have winter storm warnings, the high elevations with the flood threats for areas of not just Northern California, San Francisco and Monterey, but now we even have them issued in and around areas from San Diego. Los Angeles, by the way, not in a flood watch right now. And the mountainous areas have a winter storm warning or actually a winter storm watch. But uh, we'll have to wait and see if that forecast changes tomorrow as that storm approaches. Rainfall amounts up to about six inches max. Most areas in California from, you know, the central coast northwards will be in that one to three inch range. Mountains could be a little bit higher than that. As far as the winds go, and remember, this will probably be the highest impact in Northern California and areas of Oregon will probably have, you know, thousands of people without power come tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Many of the major cities will be in the 40 to 50 mile per hour range. In Chico 56, that's the possibility of maybe some minor power outages. And snowfall totals, this will be the central portions of the Sierra get the heaviest three feet in the peaks, but we actually need the snow. We're actually way behind on snowfall this year, Ellison. So again, mostly this first one is beneficial. It's that second one coming up this weekend. That's the one that could cause more significant problems. We'll talk more about that during the week. Bill Karens, thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.